Transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, is a less invasive alternative to open aortic valve surgery for patients with severe aortic stenosis. Clinical trials initially tested TAVR in patients for whom open cardiac surgery would be high risk. The PARTNER-2 trial enrolled 2,032 patients with severe aortic stenosis and intermediate surgical risk, with 1,011 patients assigned to TAVR and 1,021 assigned to open surgery. The primary endpoint was a composite of death from any cause or disabling stroke at two years, with the hypothesis that TAVR was non-inferior to surgery, with a pre-specified non-inferiority margin of 1.2 for the upper bound of the hazard ratio. At two years, the primary endpoint was met by 19.3% of the patients in the TAVR group and 21.1% of those in the surgery group. For a hazard ratio of 0.89, and a 95% confidence interval of 0.73 to 1.09, which met the pre-specified non-inferiority criterion. At 30 days, major vascular complications were more frequent in the TAVR patients, but life-threatening bleeding, acute kidney injury, and new-onset atrial fibrillation were more common in the surgery patients. Improvement in aortic valve areas and gradients was significantly greater in the TAVR group at both 30 days and 2 years. However, the frequency and severity of paravalvular aortic regurgitation was greater after TAVR than after surgery. Thus, this trial establishes that TAVR is non-inferior to open aortic valve surgery for patients at intermediate risk. Intermediate risk patients hoping to avoid open surgery can be safely referred for TAVR evaluation and may even have fewer adverse events such as major bleeding or kidney injury. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.